What's up blocking heroes and welcome back to another awesome blocking tutorial. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to customize your popcorn patterns. But Theo, what are popcorn patterns? Great question, random viewer of mine. Popcorn is basically a theme that you can use for blogging. It makes creating a really nice looking blog that is fast, it's user friendly and simple to create for the average user, super quick and super easy. If you want a massive discount, then check out the description because at the moment I have a huge discount available to you for the popcorn theme. Now, once you've got popcorn, you're able to use these nifty little patterns like so. This one right here, see the nice blue type writing? Uh, that's a pattern. See these lovely product reviews just here? These are nice little patterns as well. They're all really cool little patterns. Some more there. And it just really spices up your blog and makes it look that much more professional. Now, if we wanted to add in a new pattern, we'd simply press enter, press this add block sign right here, click browse all, go to patterns, and then boom, bang, ping, we've got all of the wonderful various different patterns that we can use. Nice call to actions, content. We've got so much here, it's unbelievable. This is why everyone chooses popcorn as their theme of choice when they're blogging. It just is so much better off for you in the long run. Look at these. These are fantastic base products. Look at that. Wow. And we can just go in there and change it to look how we want it to look. And as you can see, the final product does look absolutely incredible. It looks so professional. It has a very nice vibe. It makes you want to continue scrolling. When a blog looks good, you want to read it more. When it doesn't look good, you just want to get your information and get gone. So to add in your own patterns here's how i do it press edit site make sure you press the back menu button then you go here at the top where it says search and you type in pattern then you simply click the patterns manage all of my patterns and then simply you can add a new pattern just like that really cool i'm sure there are other ways to get here but that's the way i've been getting here so far add a new pattern and as you can see, it creates a almost like a blog looking thing here. And you don't need to worry too much or anything like that. This is all just basically your pattern, what it will look like. Now, in this instance, I actually still use popcorn patterns and I just edit the pattern to look like I want it to look. So product box, if we were doing, say, this product box right here, let's go for this blue one here. It's nice. And I would very simply just edit this popcorn product box to look exactly how I want it to look. So I would make this an H2. I would get rid of the writing. So it's nice and easy for me to copy and paste things in. Keep the writing like that. I would also get rid of all these points here because that's how the, the pattern will look when it's got information filled in. But I actually want to make my job easier. So if I just very simply keep it blank, it makes it so much faster for me to actually just copy and paste stuff in as and when I need to. Then I would go ahead and remove this right hand. Then I would go ahead and remove this right hand side of the button. I'd make this button a little bit bigger. So let's go to 100%. Then I'd increase the size by simply selecting the button, coming over to the appearance on the right side, going down to size, then dragging this crossbar up to probably about 25. At that point, I would probably bold the writing like so. Then for the button, I'd probably add like a nice border using a similar color scheme, that looks brilliant. And I'll change this from buy now to check prices. Now, you can check prices now or check prices. And one really good thing about popcorn is you can add like a nice, nice like icon next to it as well. And check prices is kind of like a nice way to do that. You can add it as a nice color if you want to. It's up to you what you choose to do. I, I'm gonna go for that personally. It really, it, it all comes down to what you wanna do. Right, and there we go. The Pattern is ready to roll. So now we just go ahead and press publish. Now it has got no title. We would add a title. The title would be something along the lines of blank product pattern. Okay. And as you can see, we've now got this right here. So if we now go to a blog like so, let's just click one of our blogs that we've wrote in the past, edit the post, scroll down, and we just like create a new paragraph somewhere. Let's press this plus sign. Now I can just type in blank product pattern. 
and it will automatically find the one I previously created. Now, if you don't want to do it like that, you can still just go to the plus button, like so, browse all patterns, and then click my patterns. And this will actually show you your own patterns as well. This makes it a lot quicker. Now, the good thing about this is you can just actually create a an affiliate link or something like that, and you can just use it on everywhere on your site. And when you change it, it will change for everywhere on that site. So say I wanted to use this and I wanted to I don't know, add a product about a fountain pen. I add the product about the fountain pen. But anywhere else that I've used this on the site across any blog, it will change to the same link and the same image. So it basically ensures that you aren't having to go manually through each of your blog posts to change. Now, why is this important? Well, Amazon just changed the other day the image links. They're removing all image links from SiteStripe. So if you've used image links from Amazon in the past, unfortunately, you're going to have to go change those posts. But if you were using popcorn patterns to do this, what you'd be doing instead is saving yourself loads of time because you just have to change one pattern to an image rather than a link and winner winner chicken dinner you got yourself all your work done in 10 minutes now if you don't want this particular pattern to be this exact same as all the others and sync up with all the others it's super easy to do so very simply you'd select the block where it says blank product pattern then very simply press the three dots go down and select detach pattern and this basically stops it from syncing across all your website so now this is completely separate to all your other posts such a useful way of creating affiliate links and just generally doing anything across your site okay now that's done let's add a couple more patterns in because i just like doing this this is fun for me i'm a bit of a geek when it comes to this stuff and i'm going to do a bunch more so i've middle buttoned so I middle mouse click this add new button. I'll just add in five more. Right, so what I'm going to do is actually create custom versions of all the popcorn ones uh, that will actually suit me really, really well. And it's going to take me literally no time at all because at the end of the day, these are blank templates I'm working with. They're not exactly high level templates or anything like that. So let's go ahead, click browse all patterns. Now, what do I want to work with? I want personally to work with a drop down box now this is a table of contents box using basically a special accordion but i don't want a table of contents box i want a drop down menu box which displays information say there's like too much information it's like oh my gosh it's like a boatload of information then this is the great time to use a drop down menu so let's click table of contents let's go for the blue change this from table of contents to the drop down menu and I actually think this should be included in the default popcorn theme personally, but it's not currently. But either way, now, very simply, when that's clicked, it will actually hide all the information. And when it's open, it will create all the information. Now, why is this important? I'll show you why. I'm going to give you an exclusive glimpse into one of my sites that makes me quite a lot of money per month. It's more than a full time income. And I'll show you why. These are, this is a membership site. People pay to read my blogs on this site. There's no adverts at all. And as an example, this is where you will want to use accordions. This is all built with popcorn, by the way. Now, if I show you my example of my members guides, you can see, just look at the scroll bar right here. You see this? You see this? Look at how many guides we've got for our members right now. It's quite, it's quite crazy, right? So if I wanted to make this faster for my users to scroll through, I could very simply just go like this, very simply, and just have that as the default if I wanted to. Now, here is an article where it's got a prerequisite. So you have to complete a bunch of steps before you get to this article. And to do that, I basically have the whole other article inside this article, which is crazy. Now, obviously, those who have already done it don't want to see that. So what I've done here is actually pull it in an accordion created by Popcorn. Look at that. We've actually got an entire blog post inside another blog post through an accordion. That is just to hide that information for those that don't need to see it. That's the type of stuff we do. It's absolutely awesome and I love it. So that's why it's good to have an accordion. We can actually just call this an accordion thinking on it. 
I fa no, I didn't spell that right. Accordion. Theo, come on now. You can spell better than that, sir. Okay, publish. So we've got a nice little accordion now. Don't worry if it says publishing failed. Ignore it. It always says that for me and it still works. Let's work on the next one. Oh, I love these, these, uh, these, it, these info boxes. I use these all the time. I'm just going to change the size to something I like. I'm going to change the color of this writing just here. We don't even need it. To be honest, we, we can actually just remove all this writing. It makes it actually really, really nice. Now, the color on the outside, I don't want the color to be like that. So I'm just going to change the color to nice orange color like so. I think that's a nice warm color. I think that will work really, really nicely. So I'm going to publish that. That's basically done. That's exactly what I wanted it to look like. I might actually create another one, which is like a traffic light one. So let's give this an, a name. Info box orange, publish that. Lovely jubbly. A refresh, I can see that's now in there. And now I'm going to create traffic light info boxes. Okay, and very simply, I'm just going to add in a bunch of patterns now. And I'm going to go to info boxes and I'm going to add in a like three of the same ones basically. Let's let's add in the that one, that one and that one. And what we'll do is actually swap these like where they are basically around, make sure the green is on top like so. And then we'll actually create like the traffic like system, right? So let's just get rid of the writing. Oh, we're actually having the writing in is useful thingy on it because we can actually change the writing color to match that. And then we can actually change the coloring of the writing to match exactly what it is we want it to look like. Um, in this instance, probably just going to have it white and then the background will have a nice bright uh, green like so. I think that's quite fun. We'll probably go for a slightly darker text as that's probably going to be slightly better. Yeah, that's going to look a little bit better there. And then for the background, we need to make sure that we got the correct background here. It needs to be a nice light color as well to symbolize the traffic light, right? Then we'll do the orange, then the red. Okay, and as you can see, I've just quickly created a traffic light system like so. That's published. If you want to make yourself like basically reduce your time, having a pricing box can be really good. Although I don't usually like to show the exact prices on my websites personally, uh, but it's up to you what you do. Some maybe you are a price comparison site and you do want to have the prices on. I just personally don't like to show the prices because I feel like it de incentivizes people to click your your buttons. Basically, they're less likely to click your affiliate posts if they're going to uh, just see the information right there. Why would they go through your post when they can just find it themselves? Basically. You can just simply remove all the information, make your life a bit easier in terms of like actually having it just super easy to copy and paste here. So I will change these buttons to suit my theme a little bit better. So very simply, I've just been formatting this to make it look perfect for me. And it's just got all the exact same formatting all the way across the board. I simply will just add this as a box like so. Make sure it's nice and green this last one fantastic this looks fantastic and we go ahead and publish that like so a refresh here you can see all of the uh, the various different patterns i've made are there now let's browse all let's add some patterns in this is the last one i'm going to add for this video let's add a really cool call to action really like the default one that popcorn's got here to be honest uh but let's add a little bit more in <coughs> okay cool so we got a nice little uh I really want this button to stand out. So that's the key for me. Let's make it a nice like color like so. The border needs to be something a bit more uh, nice and subtle. There you go. That looks pretty nice like so. Then we'll just very simply publish that. That is the, oh, let's give it a title. Let's call it read more. There you go. Fantastic. We'll publish that. Now, if we go and refresh our patterns area, you can see we've added all these brand new things in. Let's go to a post. Let's create a blank post right now and show you all the patterns added in like so. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and press plus browse all patterns, my patterns. And as you can now see, we have all of my patterns available. I'm going to try the traffic light system. Look at that traffic light system is straight away in. If I wanted to select it all, 
and remove it as a pattern, like detach it from all the others so it's not synced across all the other traffic lights, then I could easily just detach it and then edit it as, as I see fit, basically. Now, if we wanted to do another one, same situation. Of course, if you know the names of your patterns, you can just type it in and search for it like so. Uh, we can add in a blank product if we wanted to. We can add in one of these. We can add in one of those, one of these. Look at all these fantastic patterns that I've made today just in this blog. It looks so good, so useful, and it gets the job done. If you want to get popcorn theme, then check out below in the description and the comments where you can get a massive discount of popcorn. And I really hope this video helped you. If it did, you know what to do. Hit that like button, click subscribe. Please subscribe. Let's get us to 1,000 subscribers. I'll see you next time. This is Theo Ramwell, and you have a lovely day.